Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a review for you all and I'm also going to answer some questions. I'm going to be doing a demo and a review on this mask here. I got it from Victoria's Secret. It's by Victoria's Secret Pink. It's called, well I better tell you what it's about before I open it. It's called the Hit Reset Face Mask. It is, it has some cucumber in it. It says, let's see what it's supposed to do. Recharge, replenish, and then slay all day. Well, I'll be slaying all night because I'm about to go to bed. Hence why I'm in my pajamas. Just get out of the bathtub and I've already washed my face. I have not moisturized or anything. But I'm just going to try this out. It's supposed to be a skin nourishing mask that contours like a second skin for an Insta complexion. Okay, first I'm supposed to prep, wash and dry face completely. Done. Two, unfold the mask and position on the face as shown. Leave on for 15 minutes. Okay, let's see. Okay. Smells a little bit like some sunscreen. Smells like summertime. It smells really good. Ooh. Oh. This is really goopy. Let's see if we can get this on. <laughs> the texture is awful. Okay, come on. I don't want to break it. Oh, I'm breaking it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look at the mirror here. Okay, this mask is on and I look pretty weird. I was going to ask questions while I'm wearing this mask, but I may be scary. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to start. There's this 30 beauty questions tag. The first question is, do you remember your first makeup item? Yes, I do. Well, it was mine. It was my nanny's. And every Sunday morning before church, oh my, I can't look in the mirror. Oh, gracious. Is that better? Hmm. Okay, anyways, every Sunday morning before church, I would watch my nanny put on her makeup, and she always had this Avon, she always had this Avon little, like, two eyeshadow compact, and one eyeshadow was green, and the other was, like, a lighter green, but one was, like, really emerald, and I would put that on my eyes all the time, so I consider that my first makeup item. Mind you, I was, like, four and five years old. What kind of coverage do you prefer from foundation? I think I prefer a uh, medium to full coverage. Most of the time, if I'm if it's like day to day at work and everything, I kind of do like a, a medium coverage. I'm a nurse and I don't really like to do so much to my face while I'm at work. I just kind of don't want all the attention on me. So I just do like a regular everyday foundation routine, which I have a video to that I will link down below. My favorite high end brand. Oh, I think my favorite high-end brand, like Morphe's not high-end, Morphe's by far my favorite brand, but my favorite high-end brand, hmm, I think I'd say Too Faced or Tarte, one of the two. What cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? I really want to try, like, the really high-end brands just to see if they're as good as everyone says, like, the Chanel bronzer, the cream bronzer, I really want to try that. And the Tom Ford lipsticks, I really want to try that. Um, the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes, I want to try those. So those are a few things. Do you wear fake eyelashes on occasion? Not usually. If I do really glammed up videos, um, if I'm going to a special event, but not on a daily basis. If I do wear them like on a daily basis every day, 
not anything special. I'll just like wear the natural lashes by Allure. Is there any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without? I don't necessarily have to wear makeup because I usually don't. Like, I do. I, I think one makeup item I can't really leave the house without if I had to choose one would be mascara. What is your most cherished beauty product? Hmm, I think my most cherished beauty product would be the BH Cosmetics Highlight Contour Palette. I absolutely love that palette, guys. Do you have a beauty budget or do you spend freely? I usually have a budget. Yeah, I just don't go choose whatever I want. I try to stay within a certain range. What type of product do you buy the most of? Like lipsticks or foundations? <laughs> Is there a brand that you absolutely can't stand? No. Do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup? If I had to choose one store, I would probably choose Ulta because it includes both high-end and drugstore. But um, if I had to ask, just leave it up to myself, I would just shop online. It's easier for me. Favorite bath and body brand? Um, well, my skin's really sensitive, so I can only, the only body wash that I found that I can use is Ivory Body Wash. And they've recently changed the formula, so I'm on the hunt for like the old formula, which I found one bottle of. But after that, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. Lotions, um, I don't really like heavily scented lotions like the ones from Bath and Body Works. I'd much rather keep it simple with like daily lotion. Like personally, I use the Jergens Original Scent, the Cherry and Almond. I love it so much. If you could only buy from one brand, which brand would it be? I would choose Morphe by far. I feel like Morphe is just really reasonably priced. Wonderful, wonderful products. Every single thing I've tried for them, I love. I haven't tried any of the, like, the face products, like, concealer or anything like that. But, um, I'm sure I can make it work in order to keep buying their, um, eyeshadows. What brand do you think has the best packaging? I think like more sophisticated look. I think personally that that like Makeup Forever has like a pretty sophisticated or NARS has like a pretty sophisticated chic look. But if you're talking about fun, I would definitely go with either Tarte or Too Faced. I think Tarte personally because I love purple and they do a lot of purple. But Too Faced always has like really cute themes. Which celebrity always has great makeup? You probably expected this, but I think that Kim Kardashian's makeup is always beautiful. Um, oh, also I feel like Gigi Hadid, her makeup is flawless. So, they don't, I don't know if they do their own on a daily basis, but it's still pretty. Five favorite beauty gurus. First would be Jaclyn Hill. Second would be... Casey Holmes, I love her. Third would be Kristen Johns. I don't know if you consider her a beauty guru, but she does a lot of beauty inspired videos. Four would be Megan Lee, Levita de Meg. I'll leave all these people down below. And number five, I think I would choose Tati by far. I love her videos, I love her reviews. I think those are my five favorites. Do you like multifunctional products like lip and cheek stains? Mm -mm, I don't. I just don't. I don't like cream blushes. I don't like that. I'm not about that life. Not about that life. Do you use makeup base or primer for the eyes? I usually just use my concealer, especially if it's a full coverage concealer. How many hair products do you use on a typical day? Um, I'll use my hair oil that I put on the ends of my hair after it's, well, wet or dry. I use it either way. I use, sometimes I'll use a mousse. Um, sometimes I use a dry shampoo if I need it. But other than that, nothing else. What do you apply first, concealer or foundation? Usually foundation, I'll apply first and go in with concealer. But like here, I have this zit right there. Like if there's just big red zits, I have one up there. That are, if there's big discoloration places, I'll put concealer on, then I'll go in with foundation, and then I'll go back in and highlight like I normally would with concealer. Okay, this mask is really cooling. I feel like my face is about to freeze. 
the last question is, what do you love about makeup? I just truly love being able to create art on my face or on anyone else's. I love to make people feel happy and beautiful because everyone is beautiful in their own way. And I just love being able to, like, whenever I do people's makeup, I just love the different eye shapes, eyebrow shapes, nose shapes, you know, because you, you can't do the same thing on everyone because it will be different. Everyone's face structure is different. So, um, I just love being able to explore and try out new products. I love that makeup can give people confidence and, um, make them feel better about themselves. I don't think it's fair for people to shame others for wearing so much makeup or doing certain things with their makeup because because that's how they express themselves and so if that makes them happy and it's not harming anyone else then that's perfectly fine okay so now that i'm done with my questions and the mask is ready to be taken off step three says remove mask but do, but do not rinse and massage any excess product into the skin okay I will admit, my face feels very cool. Okay. So I'm just going to massage this into my skin. It's kind of slick and watery. I'm just going to bring it down my neck. I really hope this doesn't break me out. Woo! By the way, this was $5 at Victoria's Secret Pink. Okay guys, so I have finished with the mask and I rubbed all the excess into my skin. Honestly, um, my skin feels a little sticky. There's no overwhelming smell though. Um, I'd say my skin looks a little more dewy and like a more clear complexion. Like it's very hydrated and um, more even skin tone. So I really enjoyed this mask. If you're interested in this, I will try to find a link to it below. Um, I don't know if they'll still have it. I've had it for a while. If you like this type of video, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to do it again. I have some other masks I can use. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be back with another video soon. Bye, guys.